Before we get into the video, let's address the elephant in the room, my eye. How did I do it? Well, I'd love to come up with an excuse, but literally, I walked into a door. So, in this video, we're gonna be talking about what's happening this weekend. I've got another race. All right, let's go and talk about it. Lassie, I'm back racing. Doesn't really care, does he? So Sunday, I'm racing the 10K at Goodwood, put on by Run For Events, who kindly asked me to vlog. Obviously, now I've got this black eye. Hmm. It's gonna be nice and interesting meeting people and, and vlogging with, uh, with a black eye, but it is what it is. So what's the plan? Well, to be honest, it's a, it's a difficult one. In my competitive nest, should we call it? Yes, I wanna go for sub 40 minutes, but you have to be kind of realistic about it. So I managed to get a week's worth of training in, managed to get my uh, park run in them two weeks down from, I think, 2008 to 1935. When I use my trusted VDOT calculator that I use on my phone, I put in my time and it says that I'm likely to run a 40.36. So not the sub 40 minutes that I'd like. My PB is 38.50, clearly not in that shape. So we just have to see you know, how it goes. So if you've seen on my socials, I was thinking about, shall I run naked? No, not like that. It's gonna be cold, so that wouldn't work. And I mean, naked without a watch. A lot of YouTubers have been doing it, had some success. Let's just be realistic. I always go off too fast always blow up so maybe not the best idea. I think I've learnt from my last park run, went off a bit slower and then kind of negative split and it was nice to actually overtake people at the end rather than being overtaken. Let me know in the comments what time you think I'm gonna get. Do you think I'm gonna go sub 42, sub 41 or sub 40? There's no price for it, it's just uh, be interesting to see what your thoughts are. What is the forecast? Well, gotta get the excuses in, it's gonna be four degrees, feels like minus two and gusts of up to 20 miles an hour. And as you can imagine, being at the Goodwood kind of track, it's pretty open. So as long as the wind's behind me all the way, I'll be fine. So what am I planning to wear? Let's go have a look. So I've got a choice of three shoes. Which one do I go for? Do I go for the shoe that I run my 10K PB in? Or the shoe that I run my 5K PB in? Or do I just pick another one? Well, from my 10K PB, uh, a 38.50 in this shoe, um, that was about a year ago. Gonna rule this one out um, because I do find it a bit bouncy. Yes, it is technically an illegal shoe because of the stack height, but let's rule that one out. The other shoe which I run my 5K PB, which was, um, well, PB this year, because uh, I think it's important to obviously not go off a time that I run two years ago, which was 18.25 at a park run. And this was this shoe, uh, the 361 Flame. Love this shoe, really poppy, really light, kind of a tempo next, not tempo next percent, I was getting it wrong. Vaporfly next percent alternative. So I use this one when I run the Little Hampton 10K. I say it was 30 seconds off my PB, but the conditions obviously weren't ideal. But I haven't actually raced in my other shoe, which was only, I've only run 10 seconds slower. Um, on the 5k, never done a 10k in it, and I say I haven't raced in it. So this is the shoe I'm gonna go for. Um, it's the Endorphin Pro 2. I say, this shoe is slightly different to the other ones where you've got the Tempo Next Present, which is obviously very bouncy. Um, you've got the, uh, the 361 Flame, which is very snappy. This with a roll technology doesn't feel as fast as some of the other shoes, but on paper, it's pretty much the same. So. Looking forward to testing this one to see if this one can give me those, you know, them extra seconds to hopefully, fingers crossed, get me below that sub 40. Also forgot to mention, I've been actually using these in my shoes, with some inner soles, uh, they're called Curex. And the reason I got these is because that I've looked at some of my footage and as I fatigue, I tend to pronate, which is kind of to collapse inwards a little bit. So what these do, um, so I'm not getting paid to promote these at all, is they just help support that kind of inner arch and keep everything nice and straight. Um, they come in different sizes, so you can have kind of lower arch, medium arch, higher arch, and they just add a bit of cushioning as well. So I just thought you'd let you know about these, because these have kind of helped that when I was 
previously running in my shoes or come back and have a little bit sore Achilles on the back and since I've had these in my shoes I haven't noticed that at all because I think it's just making my foot runner that much straighter more neutral although I am a neutral runner because as we fatigue you know our form goes out the window and then we start kind of picking up niggles so highly recommend these so what am I wearing so this was the top I was planning to run at the Great South Run but I say picked up an injury so it's my pure sport top as you, as you know, I work with Pure Sport uh, CBD products and it's their run club vest. Um, going to be wearing some gloves from Say Sky. Um, let's say it's going to be, feels like minus two, so probably going to need those. Going to go with the camo cap and we're going to go with the matching camo shorts with the inbuilt uh, kind of two in one shorts. As I say, I love these, very comfortable. Be all right if I could find the inbuilt two-in-one shorts couldn't it there we go they're in there somewhere and then that puts me on to what do I think is also going to help me and the cat's back again so this is my other secret weapon the cordyceps by pure sport it's supposed to increase my uh, oxygen in my blood which can increase my vo2 max so I've been taking this for a few weeks now so it'd be interesting to see if these do help um, and if you wanted to Get some for yourself you can get 20 percent off in my code which i will put a link down in the description so roll on sunday it's going to be wherever it's going to be we'd love to go sub 20 minutes well, i'd love to go sub 20 minutes wouldn't anyone It'd be a world record i'd love to go sub 40 minutes i think i just need to be realistic have some fun i'll be filming my parents are there to film as well and i just need to enjoy myself well i'm gonna leave the video there and i will speak to you soon Onwards and upwards. Cheers!